What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs for the iOS 14.1 and of course 14.2 for jailbreak purposes. Now this video is going to be for the A11 and lower devices and I'm going to make a follow-up video for the A12 and A13. Now as you probably know iOS 14.2 has been released by Apple a day ago and this is actually a big game changer for the jailbreak community after a couple of iOS versions that changed basically nothing. So so between iOS 14.0, 14.0.1 and 14.1 there is no relevant security change according to the Apple security content. However for the iOS 14.2 the things change. There are a lot of vulnerabilities in here that have been patched including some kernel vulnerabilities that might get released later and some of them are even from Google Project Zero and we did get in the past a lot of kernel vulnerabilities from them. Please do keep in mind that this means that these are all patched in iOS 14.2 and therefore only available on 14.1 and lower. This means that if you want a jailbreak you should definitely stay on 14.1 or lower but this also means that you should save your 14.1 blobs. In order to do that we're going to use TSS Saver by One Conan, which also has an option to do blobs checking. So if you are not sure if a blob that you saved is valid you can use the checker in here, upload the blob and of course select the proper versions in here and you will be able to check if the blob is okay for downgrades. Now I know we're saying that these are for downgrades but they are actually for upgrades as well. For example let's say you're running 13.5 at this point and your jailbroken with uncover because that's the last version uncover supports. Now let's say you don't want to update the 14.1 because it's uncertain when a jailbreak will be released. However you want to be able to upgrade to it if a jailbreak gets released. So while being on iOS 13.5 all you have to do is to save the blobs for 14.1 while it's signed because saving the blobs doesn't require it to be on that version. So you can save the blobs for 14.1 and once a jailbreak for 14.1 is available you can jump from 13.5 to 14.1 even if 14.1 will likely not be signed anymore at that point. Point. So they can be used for upgrades as well. Now how do you save them with TSS Saver? This method does work for A12 devices as well but it does require an extra step. You can find an older tutorial from August on my channel that actually works but I'm going to also make an updated one as well. So for the A11 and older devices you have to connect the phone to the computer and open iTunes. If you're on a newer Mac OS and you don't have iTunes you can use Finder or you can use any tool that would show you the device info like libimobile.device or iAmazing or any other tool that is free to show you that info. In iTunes we have to press on the serial number once and then again and we're going to get the ACID. Right click and copy it and that's what you need. As you can see on this device I'm running 13.3 jailbroken but I want to save the blobs for 14.1 and 14.2 because TSS Saver will save them for everything that is currently signed. So we're going to paste the ACID in there and select the device. In my case it's iPod and it's an iPod Touch 7. Now if you have an A12 device you would have to actually check this in here and type the app nodes. This is important and this is an extra step only for A12 and A13. That's why we need a separate tutorial for that because getting the app nodes is somehow different. Then you're going to check the I am a human in there and select whatever they ask in here. And as you can see we can press submit. An important thing is to actually make sure that the identifier, the iPod, iPhone, whatever and the actual device are selected properly because if you select them wrong it doesn't matter that the ACID is correct, the blog will still not work so make sure you get them right. Now it says in here done saving the ACID and you can get a link for them. Now it may take a couple of minutes before they show up in your profile in here on TSS Saver so do not worry if you cannot see them in here but as you can see in my case they do appear 14.1 and 14.2. On 14.1 if we go in here we have app nodes but as you can see the folders are currently empty. It's normal they are going to populate in a couple of minutes. You can come back after like 10 minutes and press download zip. So please do save your blobs because this is actually pretty important. You can also save your blobs if you are jailbroken with a tweak called system info and that one works for the A12 devices as well without a computer. Now what I showed you in here with the SS Saver does work on Windows, Mac OS, Linux and basically anything that has a browser. So that's actually good. You can even do it on your phone if you know your ACID. So yeah that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Save your blobs. I'm GS now. Until next time. Peace out.